Hey, it's Joel. You know, uh, a while ago, we had a stream where we talked about the Peel Poly Noir. It is a large format resin based 3D printer. It's a bit pricey, but it can print pretty quickly. Look at this. And off. It's on for less than a second. That's all it takes to cure it. That's real time. Real time. Look at that. On and off. Real time. Real time. And on the stream, we printed all these little mini Joels here. Ready? Ready? It's almost hypnotic. Why is it when you spin something, it starts wobbling? I don't know, I don't know. But if you know science, you can tell me in the comments. But there's been some updates to this machine and what we've printed on it, not just these mini Joels, but a print right over there that you can't see, that you'll see it soon, plus uh, just a surprise. Let's just call it a surprise. You have to stick around to the end. So let's get right to it, right here on 3D Printing Nerd. There you are, welcome back. This is the platter of mini Joels and uh, this is the little curing platform for the Anycubic wash and rinse station. It actually came in super handy because while the Noir can print really big, it can also print really tiny as evident here. And uh, they look really good. Here, I'll, I'll prop one mini Joel up just so you can kind of get a look. Look at that, just a platter of them. I'll figure out what to do with these. Maybe. Uh, I'll make a mini Joel cannon or a catapult. Ooh, a catapult, okay, okay. That's it, I, I've said it out loud now. I have to make a catapult. But these are cool, right? These are interesting. It's fun to print little knickknacks and, and things, but this print over here, let me set these aside. <sighs> this, <laughs> this is Sub-Zero's mask designed by our buddy, Wexter, and Originally, he designed a Sub-Zero bust, and I think he's designing a Scorpion bust as well. And what he, he got a few suggestions from the community saying, well, what if you made that mask as a cosplay element? And he's not a cosplay prop maker, but he gave it a try, and it turned out, I mean, I mean, come on, that's clean. That is clean. So I like how this all turned out, the lines, the crevices, the detail, they're all there. And I used a Chitu box to slice it and I used the Soraya Tech Fast Gray resin to print it. Looks good, smells a little bit like resin because it hasn't been finished yet. And uh, it hasn't even been uh, de-supported yet, but we'll get to that in just a moment. I have to go get the machine, follow me. Okay, there was a problem. We'll talk about it out there. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> that was an experience. It's always surprising just how heavy this is when you hold on to it. Like, I know it's heavy. I look at it, I, I pick it up. I carry it up here for my car. Ugh. So as you can see, inside of here, if I open the door, there is another Sub-Zero mask. So that's awesome. But we had a problem, and I think it's because I ran out of resin and the machine wasn't level. But I'm gonna see if I can tip it back, and I'll see if Sean can zoom in. So it's gonna be like right there, okay? Oh, look at that. Do you see it? Yeah. So I think because, because it's still completed below that. So I think the resin itself was properly in the tank, just not enough of it. And then the tank wasn't level. So I think, because the rest of the resin on that, the rest of the model looks good, right? Yeah, it looks great. Okay, so. We live in the same geographic location as level 52 props. This is a team of people that make some of the most amazing props and display pieces you've ever seen. And at this point, I hope there's some imagery on your screen of uh, products that I can show you because some of the stuff I've seen, I've seen, some of the stuff I've seen? No, no, that's terrible. Some of the stuff that I've seen hasn't been released publicly and it blows my mind. They have figures and things that are painted to make it look like you think it's a computer render. And I'm telling you all of this because even though the Sub-Zero mask in here is damaged, 
I think we can play to that. Part of the way that people do cosplays and props is things that show battle damage. And it's safe to assume that during a Mortal Kombat fight, Sub-Zero may have been smacked around by Scorpion or Sonya or whoever, any, or Noob Cybot. <laughs> Maybe the mask broke a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take this machine with this mask down to level 52 and I'm gonna drop it off and what they're gonna do is show me how they properly and professionally make and finish resin-based props. I'm actually really, really excited about this because most likely this mask will be a giveaway. So at this point, I've got my mask to finish and I'll try to do a decent job at it, but Lord knows I like to color outside the lines. This one though, this is gonna be getting a treatment. And so we're gonna take this down to level 52. Oh, geez. Okay, here we go again for a socially distant handoff. See you in the car. You want some help? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs>minute we i mean it's been it's been a while it's been a while since that last part and some things have changed but i think it's for the better and i think the only way to start this out is to bring this unfinished sub-zero mask out you know when we originally filmed this episode we didn't have the capability of getting up close or getting more detailed shots and so with this i just want to make sure that you're aware of the detail of this model and how cool it looks. I think Wexter did an amazing job with it. I think that this is going to be something that someone will enjoy finishing. Oh, what am I alluding to? Ooh, ooh. More on that in a little bit. Let's set this aside. When I went back to level 52 to get the Phenom, the issue was, I mean, they're a, they're a massively busy business with all sorts of incredible customers that they're building stuff for. We didn't get a chance to film the finishing of something, but there's some more stuff planned. So you remember this, this is the, the plate of mini Joel's here and spins. That's good. I went down and I picked it up and I, and I had a baggie of things and I picked them out and they looked incredible. And they are, where are they? They are right here. Level 52 has started a new company or a subsidiary or something. While level 52 makes incredible props and collectibles, their new company, Broken Anvil Miniatures makes miniatures. And they printed some on the Phenom Noir. And first, there's this, uh, there's this wolf person. And uh, the detail is honestly exquisite. <laughs> we'll get some up close shots for you, of course. But uh, wow, it looks really good. Just before I went on camera here, I was uh, holding it up to my eyes. I can't wear glasses. so. Uh, I've had cataract surgery and my eyes are at fixed focal length, so up close stuff doesn't work so well. So I have to use my, my phone and kind of zoom in, but it looked really cool. It looked really cool. So there's this wolf person, and then there's there's this person. I mean, look at, look at him. He is angry, just distempered. I really like the sword. That's a cool sword. He is not a uh, Pacific Northwest native because he is not wearing socks with sandals. Oh. And there's this one. Look at this, right there. But see, this one, I believe it's it's two-headed, and each head is named Ed because two Eds are better than one. Oh. Boy, that's a dad joke. But look at the that's it. That's that's a cool looking model right there. I really really like it. I mean, looks like they could use some dental work. Uh, the the detail on the midsection is good. They've got a is that a bandolera? I don't know. Got a bunch of like bombs or something around them. So these are cool. These are miniatures. And while the Phenom Noir is, is quite a large machine, it's still able, to, it looks like, to get some pretty fantastic detail at smaller scale. Ah, ah. But this is uh, Skelly the skeleton. And this is the rock that Skelly stands on. 
And uh, Skelly normally is like this, and there's a rock. It's just kind of like that. But uh, the supports weren't removed. So what happened was when I picked up when I picked up the Phenom Noir, these were in a box, and Chris at level 52 said, "You can have these. Take a look at these. These are incredible." And I have to agree with him. They are. And then he said, "There's also something on the SD card. When you get back, load it with some Soraya Tech resin and hit go." So I did. This is what popped out. This skeleton model is supposed to be this size, but it's embiggened and scaled up. And it's really cool to see the detail. I, I, I really appreciate the cape itself and the, the knives and uh, the, the midsection, the detail there. Uh, I did print two and I, I had a hard time removing the supports. So what had happened was Chris and, and the folks at level 52, they do custom supports on everything. And uh, that'll be shown in a future episode where we have five resin tips from the pros. But uh, the custom supports are done at a miniature scale. So when they size it up, the supports are scaled up as well. So the supports are a little bit difficult to take off of this. And uh, I did my best. I did my best with the tools that I had. I wasn't satisfied. And there was still one thing that I had to pick up at level 52. And so I had Chris show me how they do the cleaning on their resin prints. and. They use a mixture of water, isopropyl alcohol, and a degreaser, and that's in an ultrasonic cleaner. And they use an electric toothbrush to really kind of scrub and get in there. They put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, and they do a couple passes of that. And that means that there is no uncured resin left. Um, we'll detail that too on, on the five tips from the pros. But uh, this one uh, cured up really, really well. And uh, the detail is impressive. but. I had to go back to level 52 because the final piece wasn't ready yet. So let's just move these to the side. Originally, I was gonna finish this and then compare it with what Chris and level 52 could do with it. Everybody got busy, stupid pandemic, so I didn't finish this. It's actually a good thing for you and we'll explain pretty soon because, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, look at this, look at this. This is the Sub-Zero mask. This is finished by Chris at level 52. And if you can just take a look at it, it is amazing. It's literally amazing. So his process for this was taking that print off the Noir and then uh, cutting off all the supports, sanding it down, and then adding layers of paint and more battle damage. And then some of this, uh, this, and it's kind of kind of coated in blood because the, you know, Sub-Zero, he hits people really hard. But some of the detail, or I, I guess some of the battle damage detail was actually done by him taking this mask and dragging it through gravel to get more of a randomized realistic look to it. And honestly, I mean, look at that. Look at that. And what's great is there's places for straps so I can put on a regular mask and then this, and I can go shopping for cereal like Sub-Zero. Just remember in the original Mortal, Mortal Kombat game, you, uh, you held back while hitting block, low punch, and low kick at the same time. And Sub-Zero would do a slide whoo, and get into there. And then, uh, well, what have you. That's for a different time altogether. But honestly, uh, the, the people at level 52 are wonderful and Chris did not disappoint. This, this mask is by far one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And it's 3D printed. That's the, that's the beauty of this. So a 3D printed part with the know-how and the talent and some paint and you get this. That's where this comes in. So all of these unfinished prints, every single one of them could be yours. These broken anvil miniatures, Skelly that's still supported, Skelly that's been unsupported, the mini Joels uh, that almost look like candy. Listen, I want, I want you out there to give your hand at trying to finish these. I'd love to love to see it if, if you were able to get some paint and some sandpaper and, and just, just go to town on this. I think it would be wonderful and I wanna give you that chance because Chris at level 52, the reason that he can make something that looks as good as this is because he's had practice and time 
and the materials to make it this way. You don't get this way without practice and I wanna give you some practice. And so everything that's not finished is available for you to win. The link in the description will let you know how to win these pieces and then this contest is available world freaking wide. I will ship this stuff anywhere. I don't want where you're located to get in the way of getting some high quality models to finish. I want you, if you can find paint and sandpaper, then my goodness, I wish you the best of luck. So the, the, the description has the link, click on it. It'll tell you how you can enter to win this stuff and I will ship it to you at no charge anywhere on the globe. I can't wait to see what you do with it. And my goal here is to inspire creativity. This is inspiring. Hearing how Chris did this in a couple hours makes it almost feasible. Like I think in my head, well, wait, maybe I could do this. Is it really this simple? I can print one of these again. You may not be able to. So I'm giving these all away. Details are in the description and this is all made possible by Peel Poly and Soraya Tech. And so a big thanks to them for making this giveaway possible and for, for inspiring people to be able to finish props and collectibles. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, I love doing this. I love, love doing this. Um, again, click that link in the description. Enter worldwide. I don't care. I'm just... Uh, I'm excited to see if you guys and gals out there can finish stuff and make it look as awesome as this. I'm just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Taco Bell on this thing. <laughs> if you've made it this far, you're awesome. A big thanks for all of you who did. Don't forget to hug each other more. And if you have a cause you believe in, don't give up. <sighs> From a safe distance, high five. Ruh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>